Hi everyone, my name is Elizabeth Bagley. I'm a junior studying human development and family studies, disability studies, and deafness and hearing studies. I do a lot of studying. <laughs> That's a dumb joke I use sometimes. Um, I'm from State College, Pennsylvania, and like I said, I'm gonna be a junior in the fall. This is just gonna be me talking about like some of my different interests and how they relate to my experiences. Oh, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I always forget about those. I need to do better at that, I know. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a huge Disney fan. This is my Rapunzel pillow. I'm a huge Star Wars fan. Ahsoka Tano is my girl. Um, and I also love Broadway musicals and just like theater in general. This is actually a shirt from one of my favorite shows, Come From Away. I could see it in Canada, it was phenomenal. So those are just three like big things I'm into. I'm also, I do perform with theater. I sing, I dance. I play flute, very like musically artsy involved. Sports are not my thing. Do love me some women's volleyball, so catch me at a women's volleyball game this fall, hopefully. Um, but the point of this video is to talk about how I've kind of integrated two of my loves together. Um, one of them is the LGBTQIA plus community, the queer community, and reading. I love to read. I have so many books all over the place books, 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 books. So last summer, yeah, summer of 2020, um, during the pandemic and quarantine and just like buckling down, one of my best friends and I, who's an ally to the community, created an LGBTQIA book club where every month, um, the club itself is made up of allies and members of the community. And every month we would pick a different book to read. So each month had a different like identity that we focused on. So like one month was like, asexual um and that identity or I'm trying to think if we lump Aero and asexual together or not anyway um and then the members would vote out of three books and then we'd pick a book and we read it so I'm going to talk to you about two of my favorites today um this is I am also very weird I hate dust jackets on books I would so much rather just look at like a plain book than a dust jacket I hate them and I end up ripping them it's the worst anyway um this is Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn I'm obsessed with this book we read it once last year and I've read it twice since then maybe three times I don't remember so it is a young adult book and it is 275 ish pages long but the main character's name is Alice and she is asexual she's a college student and so it's a young adult novel about what it's like being a college student um she's also a black college student so it talks about intersectionality of race and uh, identity like sexual identity too um it's fascinating I love it so much um it has a really great section where she goes and talks to a therapist or a counselor, I don't remember exactly, about the fact that like she knows she's asexual, but trying to like tell people that because as soon as she does, people don't wanna be in a relationship with her. Um, and as someone who's bi, like I know I'm bi, my friends know that I'm bi, but it's one of those things that like, biphobia is real and like being in a relationship with someone and being like, hey, actually I'm bi, it's the like never feeling gay enough for the queer community and never feeling straight enough for the straight community like that kind of feeling stuck in the middle and feeling like no one will accept you that kind of stuff <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you have felt that way too um but it's 275 pages it's I mean this is the first page the font is like decent sized it's a very easy read and again it's like young adult novel so um nothing too heavy nothing too explicit I know sometimes I pick up young adult books and I'm like oh I wish that had a warning on it. This one is like PG-13, there's kissing, there's not much else than that. Because again, Alice is asexual. So this is one of my favorite books and I'm pretty sure Alice Khan herself is, I know she's a part of the queer community. I wanna say she's asexual, I don't remember. Um, follow her Instagram, it's just, it's a fantastic book. And again, um, Alice is a black asexual college student so there's a lot of different things that she talks about again race and sexual identity overlapping what it's like to be a college student and dating and also being black it's really really fascinating I love this book 
I would recommend it to anyone and everyone, especially if you're questioning whether or not you're on the ace arrow spectrum. I think this book would be super helpful for you. So that's my first one. Let's talk about Love by Claire Kahn. Also, I love the fact that like it's the ace of spades. It's the ace of hearts. Oh my god, not the ace of spades. It's the ace of hearts, which just feels like super appropriate. And if you would have had the dust jacket on, you would have never have known that the ace of hearts is on the spine. Anyway, so that's my first book recommendation. My second book recommendation is also one from book club. I'm actually rereading it again, but it is Let's Talk About Love by Rebecca Robertson. I was correct with a foreword by her daughter, Georgie Stone. Um, it's about a girl, a mother's powerful story of raising her transgender child. So it's really, I'm gonna start with, they're Australian. So that took me a minute to adjust to the fact that like, this is not a US perspective. And they do talk about like what laws are restrictive or were restrictive in Australia. Um, Georgie was born in 2000, same year as me. Um, so it was really interesting to hear a mother's perspective on raising a transgender child and what kind of barriers they faced in their home lives and at school, but then also in the medical community and in the legal community, um, what kinds of things they had to, they made strides for the transgender community in Australia. Um, and really just did some phenomenal things for that community. This book is also cool because um, it's got a definite like, oh, what's it called? I'm looking for it. Key terms, it like defines all the key terms. This is a great place to start, I think. If you don't know that much about the trans community, this would be a really great place. Um, it's how many pages? About 300 and pages. 310, 315, something like that. Yeah. Um, and again, it's from a mother's perspective. There is everything in here. Um, there's a forward by Georgie Stone, the daughter, and she's like, everything in here I give my mother permission to include. It was really eye-opening to me. Um, I have, I know a couple trans people, but not very many. Um, it was the, um, the amount of love that this family has for each other and the support that they give each other. Um, it's just, it's a really, really good book that has some great like nuggets of wisdom in here. Um, I highly recommend it. It also is one of those books that like in the middle has a whole bunch of pictures. So you get to see like family pictures of Georgie and her twin brother and their family, like doing different things like this one. They're with Mickey Mouse and Disney. Um, so this is a really great book. It is nonfiction, whereas Let's Talk About Love is a fiction book. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, if you're into reading queer books, you are more than welcome. I love these two, highly recommend them. If you want more queer book suggestions, send me an email. Um, my email address is epb5303 at psu.edu, or you can find me on Instagram at, at Captain Leia Bell, like Captain America, Leia Organa, and Belle, who's my favorite princess, you know, just tying in all the things I love together. Um, I hope this was helpful and you enjoyed it and have a good rest of your day.